वेलकम बैक लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2015 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स एंड बिलीव मी क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल दीज टू मार्क्स आर फॉर फ्री डोंट गेट अफ्रेड बाय लुकिंग एट द स्टेटमेंट जस्ट यू जस्ट नीड टू रीड द स्टेटमेंट एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर इन फाइव टू टेन सेकेंड्स ओके सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम गोज इन रीडिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट एनी वेज कंसिडर अ प्रोसेसर विद बाइट एड्रेसेबल मेमरी assume all registers including program counter and program status word are of size 2 bytes a stack in main memory is implemented from location 100 in hexadecimal and grows upwards okay so you are given there's a in memory stack which starts from this location and grows upwards and program counter and program status word that means flags register both are of 2 bytes and the memory is byte addressable memory is byte addressable means each byte in memory will have a unique address each byte has its own address okay the stack pointer sp points to the top of the stack and has a current value 016 e in hexadecimal Okay, I've shown it here. Zero one six e. This is the top of the stack. The call instruction is of two words. The first word is opcode, and second word is starting uh, the starting address of subroutine. One word is equal to two bytes. The call instruction is implemented as follows. So then there are given. Then they've given three steps. First one is. store the current value of pc in the stack second step is store the program status word in the stack third step is load the starting address of subroutine into pc the question is the contents of pc just before fetch of call instruction is 5 fa0 in hexadecimal after the execution of call instruction the value of stack pointer is okay they are asking is if we execute one call instruction what will be the value of stack pointer that means to what address is this going to point so first thing is whenever we make a call instruction call instruction is of two words first word is opcode and second one is the address or jump address now this address has to be loaded in program counter because we need to fetch that instruction but doing so will will lose the contents of program counter say this is the code that you are executing and here is a call instruction it's saying some address say 1000 this is say 70 this one is 84 so address number 84 says go to 1000 or call 1000 now this is 1000 you have written a function here after returning from this function you need to come back to line number 85 na that means you have to save this address rather this address somewhere so this is saved in stack first thing that you will save in the stack is program counters contents that's also given in question now in the question itself they have mentioned that this value uh, or program counter whatever it contains is of 2 bytes now program counter contains 2 bytes data that needs to be saved onto the stack stack is in memory memory they have already told is byte addressable that means saving this data will eat up two locations or two addresses because this is a two byte data and memory is byte addressable now you will use these two bytes this one and this one for saving the contents of program counter because program counter is two bytes or one word similarly program status word will also use two addresses that means this address and this address will be used by your program status word or the flags register that's given in the question 
contents of these two are to be saved on the to be are to be saved onto the stack okay so in total you have used four bytes now you need to find what is this x that means what is top of the stack top of the stack will be 0 1 6 e plus 4 in hexadecimal now if you perform this addition you will get 0 1 7 2 0 1 7 2 in hexadecimal and this is your answer how did i get this number because you, you see 0 1 6 e plus 1 will be 0 1 6 f this number plus 1 will be will be 0 1 6 this number plus 1 this number plus 1 will be 0 1 7 0 this number plus 1 will be 0 1 7 1 again plus 1 will be 0 1 7 2 okay so 0 1 6 e plus 1 is this plus 2 is this plus 3 is this plus 4 is this so this is our answer that number is in hexadecimal and it's 0 1 7 2 